Hello and welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's Bill Skladowski. I'm trying new stuff here. Um, if you are seeing this again, if you're watching this again uh, for the second or third time, my apologies to you. I am learning new technology on the fly. Isn't that awesome? Uh, and this is the third time I tried something. So um, one of my earliest mentors, the first day we were in class together, with a, it was a big group coaching thing. He made us take out a blank piece of paper and a big fat, you know, Sharpie marker. And he said, in the biggest, fattest, boldest letters you can write, write down the following. Done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. So this is now the third time this video is being done, and it is far from perfect, and yet, thanks for hanging in there. Bill Sklodowski here from the blog of the same name, where we help local and uh, home-based businesses turn social media into profits. So many small businesses nowadays are uh, struggling, really, with trying to get their social media and uh, you know online presence out there and uh, make it be effective and not just be, you know, burning money for no good reason, and that's exactly what we help with. Easy, simple, little techniques, tips, tips and tricks to help you with your marketing. So I hope this is helpful to you. If it is, I'd like to encourage you to share it with uh, other associates who also may be doing their own business and also may be looking for solutions to marketing questions and problems. Uh, if you can like us, that would be awesome as well. If you have questions or comments, please fill those in below. Tomorrow's Friday, and we're going to do Free Coaching Friday. So uh, I look forward to answering your questions tomorrow. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the third pillar or foundational stone in what I call the Full Spectrum Marketing Method for local and home-based businesses. Earlier in the week, we talked about Facebook huge reach, giant, you know, big, the 800-pound gorilla in the marketing room, right? And then we talked about YouTube yesterday, the power of video, awesome, to get you, uh, your business, your product, your service in front of people so they can actually see you and get to do those three magic words, know, like, and trust you and your business and what you offer. Today, for the third piece of that, I would like to talk about websites and blogging. And a lot of people think those are two different things, a website, a blog, is there a difference? Well, if you want to get really technical, I suppose it is. It's one more I tend to think of a website as something that's static, you know, it's built once and then it's like an online brochure if you're a business. An online brochure or a flyer or a, you know, advertising marketing piece of some sort that doesn't really change much. A blog, on the other hand, blog being short for web log, is really something that's updated on a regular basis. Uh, in future videos, I'm going to talk about adding content, adding information to a blog, and I think that I would like to encourage you to do that once a week, if you could. Uh, more would be better, but once a week at very least. And uh, also, a blog is something that changes and grows over time, and that's really important. Why? Google, the search engine that everybody wants to rank on, and I'm on the first page of Google, how cool is that? That's important. <laughs> if you want to get that high ranking on Google, Google loves fresh, new, updated, ongoing content. All the things that a blog can do for you as you add to it day in and day out. And when you do, think in terms of that old you know, tortoise and the hare story. Slow and steady wins the race. As you add to your content on your blog, you will be seen as more and more of an authority. You will gain more and more ranking power within Google because they see that you are adding stuff to your website as opposed to this guy who just put a website up a year ago and yeah, it's really flashy and it's really cute and it's really great, but it hasn't changed in a year. So as you continue to add to your website week after week, day in and day out, your authority rises. Now, why is it so important to have, um, you know, a blog in the first place? Well, we just talked about that ranking factor there. Another important factor is the, uh, the, the piece that you actually own that website. It's your bit of real estate, your bit of, you know, your property on the Internet. And even though you're contributing to Facebook and you're engaging with customers and you're talking to clients and that sort of thing on Facebook, 
and you're putting videos out on YouTube on a regular basis and you know showing people what you do and that's great both of those big big companies Facebook and YouTube they have what they call terms of service TOS when you sign up for an account it was probably that page with like 20 pages of fine print and legal jumbo and mumbo jumbo and all that that you just scroll to the get to the bottom and click that agree button and there's nothing wrong with that everybody does it I do it the fact is though you don't own Facebook or YouTube and you don't control what they do with your information your content the things that you publish and if something should happen in the future totally out of your control totally not your doing totally has nothing to do with what you're putting out there but maybe something happens and all of a sudden Facebook or YouTube or both gosh forbid should decide they don't like you anymore well guess what they can turn your account off in a, in a snap in a, in a in a second and your stuff is gone all that hard work that you've put in all that engagement with your customers and clients and potential clients is gone now could you open a new account yeah you probably could and start again yeah you probably could and all that and build up from scratch yeah you probably could what a pain <laughs> you don't control the content that's on those two sites a website or a blog you do control and that's what makes it so powerful there's a lot of reasons why it's so powerful that's a big one that it's your stuff you control it so in the big scheme of things and this isn't something we'll talk about today but probably next week the idea is that you connect with people you reach out and you know do a little of what we call attraction marketing on YouTube on Facebook and any other social media site you happen to be on there's only about a thousand other ones snapchat Instagram tumblr never mind we're not going to talk about those right now <laughs> too much as you connect with people and engage with them on Facebook or YouTube or both just as the two biggest of the big your goal should be to move those people over to your website and by move I mean you know every once in a while on your Facebook post or on your YouTube channel you're gonna say hey if you want more great stuff you know you liked what you're doing what you see here on Facebook or YouTube there's even more great stuff over on our website at www.mywebsite.com and the idea is that you get people to come to your website that you know they may see your book you know think of it this way as I'm driving around my you know town here in Sarasota Florida I see a lot of billboards um, and I see a lot of advertising on you know the side of buildings and trucks and signs are everywhere obviously right and it may interest me in a business but that you know website that not excuse me that sign that I see can only give me so much information and yet if there's a, a website listed at the bottom of the sign you know uh, I can go to that website now and get even more information and find contact information a phone number I can call them whatever think of your Facebook content your YouTube videos as just that as part of your overall advertising marketing plan where you're putting things out there to let people know what you're doing just little snippets of stuff little videos little posts little things like that on Facebook and YouTube and the goal for all of that is to get people if they're interested to come to the website to learn more hey we've got a lot more over here on the website why don't you come and take a look a big piece of that is also something we'll talk about tomorrow and even more next week because it's a really big piece and I, I don't want to, to I want to give it the time it deserves and that is getting people to interact with you in a way that you collect from them information like a name and an email address maybe a phone number maybe not so you can establish a two-way communication with those people so that once again you're doing the trick of building know like and trust when it comes to your audience I'm about out of time I want to try and limit myself to 10 minutes here but let me just ask you is this being value? is this you know is this valuable to you are you getting some value out of this is this maybe a light bulb moment or two I hope so if you do have other questions or if you if I did say something maybe that you know uh, uh, 
put something out there that it's like I don't really you know I, I have a question about it I'm sorry I'm changing some stuff on my computer here so I apologize for for looking away for a moment there if you have questions tomorrow's free coaching Friday post your questions in the comment section beneath this video and we will get to them tomorrow if you have other questions of course you can go to the website look I made myself a sign more great stuff at BillSklodowski.com. Woo! This is my, this is, I'm throwing, like, this is the marketing piece, right? I just put this up and you go, oh, okay, I'll go and I'll look at the website. And by the way, I'll put the links beneath the video as well. If you do go to the website, by the way, there's a great uh, free resource for you there where you can get uh, a checklist on how to better interact with, engage with the people that you talk to on your social media platforms, especially Facebook, but all across the way. And if you'd like even more great information, I've got a second freebie for you, and that's at boost your business at superherobiztips.com. Superherobiztips.com. All one word. Doesn't matter if you capitalize it or not. Doesn't matter. There's a, a downloadable PDF checklist there, and also an audio training. You get two for the price of one, and that price is free. So stop by either of the two websites. In fact, I'd encourage you to stop by both. See, there's my little pitch for you, right? I'll put both those links in the video or in the comments section under this video, and I hope you will put your comments under there as well. So thanks again. That's going to do it for today. We will uh, check in again tomorrow for Free Coaching Friday. So until then, be well, and I will see you soon.